Yo, Sanjo J here. People are bringing you another Boruto Naruto Next Generations review, episode 27 specifically. And let's get right into it. So, honestly speaking, the more I watch the Boruto anime so far, with how Studio Periot is actually doing this, it makes me realize that the best part about watching the anime to date is really actually just seeing how the world has changed and how the world has reacted or grown since the fourth great ninja war honestly speaking that that's like a recurring positive for the anime itself now this episode itself wasn't really all of that uh, honestly speaking so two major points one we have a new opening and i must say i definitely like it it does it has the same vibe upbeat vibe as the first opening and we have some interesting visuals here and there especially of this one scene where we have naruto walking and then it changes to boruto uh, older boruto but the thing is the opening seems implied that we'll be in the hidden miss village longer than i had expected honestly speaking because i thought this little mini arc would have been like probably four or five episodes long but based on the opening it would seem that we're gonna be here a bit longer than necessary so because i was hoping we'd get into the boruto naruto the movie anime retelling um next but it is what it is and honestly like the major thing that came out of this episode like the biggest point is the scene where we got we have Mei the Fort Mizukage and well she was the Fort Mizukage Anko, Anko and Shino actually discussing the, the disagreement between the Miss Village and the Land of Water in terms of them signing a peace treaty with some of these the Land of Waves and the Land of Sea yeah, so that's like the biggest thing out of this episode, honestly speaking. I mean, at the beginning, we have um, Kagura and Boruto and company actually going to rescue Denki. And really and truly just have some character moments for some development and backstory on Yagura himself. <sighs> the episode was, wasn't all that. <laughs> that's basically what I'm saying. I'm kind of just kind of... I'm um, going off on a tangent here, I suppose, but let's see. The episode does have, have its merits. So, as I mentioned, one of the biggest merits of the Boruto anime is really seeing how the world has evolved and how um, the various villages actually go about things and their developments ever since the Fort Great Ninja War. So, obviously, as I pointed out, the biggest point in this episode was having me Anko, and shino actually discussed that hey the land of water is basically against signing this peace treaty with some of the countries in the the middle sea essentially and they believe that conflict would actually help grow and expand their power and territory so of course the miss village considering they took part in the fourth great ninja war alongside naruto the hidden leaf and everybody else they are against it and are trying to push um for stability and peace but they are saying that if the expansion continues i believe if the expansion of the water village continues or sorry the land of waves and sea continues it could drag the hidden leaf and miss village into a conflict with them so that was interesting they definitely brought a lot of politics into that scene there so i definitely love that aspect right there um of course as i mentioned in the beginning we have kagura and boruto and friends actually going out to actually save denki so there was that the animation here and the fight scenes here isn't anything to brag about it wasn't really anything fluid it was just like okay we get the point let's just kind of get over this of course they do manage to take out the guys with ease i mean the one thing to note, I guess, one of the guys, the head of the bunch of delinquents, does have Miss Jutsu, but it, <laughs> it doesn't really help them much, really. It really helps um, Boruto and fa um, friends really come out on top here. Um, of course, we do see Boruto pulling off a wind style, which was pretty cool there, I suppose. But the rest of the episode is really dedicated to... I guess, how should I put it, Kagura and his backstory, and we find out that 
during his time in the academy, he actually killed a bunch of his classmates, which is interesting stuff there. And we get to find out that's the reason why he actually hesitates anytime he has to take up a sword. So that's cool backstory, setting up some conflict for Kagura and his character there. And as I mentioned, based on this opening, on the new opening, it would seem that he, his character will be around for a while. So I guess that was necessary to say the least. It definitely helps the episode. Of course, towards the end of the episode, we have Boruto and friends actually just kind of chilling with Kagura really and just help to motivate help they're just there playing cards helping to motivate him and all that jazz and we get to find out that hey yeah even he's been trying to distance himself ever since the academy and we get to find out that he is Yagura's grandson the Fort Misukage sorry and my apologies yeah may would have been the fifth Misukage so there's that so, yeah, we find that he's been trying to distance himself from the fact that he's Yagura's grandson. The fact that, and for you, those of you who don't remember, um, Yagura was instrumental in getting the Miss Village, the nickname, the Blood Miss Village. Of course, really behind the scenes, it was actually Obito who was actually using Genjutsu to control the Fort Mizukage and did all that shit. So, another thing Obito is responsible for, I guess. But yeah, so we even find out that we that Kagura actually killed one of his friends back in the day. So there was that. So there's a lot of development and tension and conflict within his character, which was definitely the one of the highlights of the episodes, honestly speaking. And towards the end, we have him more and friends motivating him to actually take up the the mantle of approaching Chojuro, the current Mizukage, and taking up the chance to become one of the seven miss ninja swordsman essentially and towards the end we even get the leader of the the delinquents the i guess you could say kisame jr actually cutting <laughs> cutting um the leader of the other leader of the delinquents um throats back in um at the end of the episode so there was that that's pretty like unexpected because for like 99% of the episode, it's just this meh, it's okay. And then we have that towards the end. So there is that. Um, so honestly, it's 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 an okay episode of Boruto. Nothing too major, as I mentioned. I like the ending as well, so there's that. But I mean, ugh, that's all I have for this one, honestly. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Sanjo Chia, and I'll see you in the next one.